Hey everybody, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about medical preparedness on the homestead or even if you're living off grid. Um, honestly, living in Florida, having medical supplies on hand wasn't necessarily something I thought about. And when I say medical supplies, I mean um, gauze, tourniquets, um, at like the higher level of uh, medical supplies. Um, you know, of course, I'm a mom. I have band-aids. I have Neosporin. I have Dr. Christopher's, things like that. So there's things that I did have, obviously, if we got scrapes, cuts, you know, kids got boo-boos, whatever. But I never really thought of past that point, like, hey, what if, you know, we're working with a chainsaw and something happens? Or, you know, what if we fall and land on something wrong? You know, I, I, that was not something I really ever thought about. But moving up here and living off grid and living, quite frankly, in a place that... It might be an hour and a half until EMS can get here. So I started thinking a little bit more about it and um, actually took a training class last night from Refuge Medical called Stop the Bleed. And I'll put a link in the description for that um, so you can check it out because they do travel all over the country. So it's something you can go to too, depending on where you live. Um, but it was a class about how to basically be more medically prepared and how to, like it says, stop the bleed. Um, so went into a little bit more advanced topics of, you know, if something happens, you know, like if you cut the artery in your leg, what do you do? Things like that. And to be completely honest, stuff like that is totally possible on a homestead. Um, or is, even if you're living off grid, um, today I'm getting ready to cut down several trees. They're smaller trees, but uh, you know, cause we're going to be using them for fence posts in our garden, but I'm still going to be cutting down trees. My husband is going to be using a tractor to bush hog and mow some of our property and you know there's blades and rocks and everything else involved in that um and a big piece of machinery and so it's things like that you have to think about like if something happened where my husband or i or even one of our children got hurt while being out here on the homestead and it was a more severe hurt than oh you know we got cut by a thorny vine or oh we scraped our hand doing something or oh we have a blister you know if, if it's more drastic like you know, thorn goes into my foot or I fall and a thorn goes through my hands because we do have some thorns out here on trees that are literally like four inches long. And some of those branches on those trees do fall off and land on the ground. So you could have a thorn grow through your foot, even with shoes on and things like that. So that's things that we had to have to start thinking about. And that's something that I wanted to bring up to those of you who are thinking about homesteading or living off grid is when it comes to living off grid or homesteading, do you have the medical supplies required for the kind of life that you're living? Do you have tourniquets in case something really bad happens? Do you have tourniquets not only for you, but for your children? Because guess what? Your children aren't going to be able to fit into a normal adult sized tourniquet. So do you have something for you, for your children? Do you know how to use those things or do you just, you know, go on the fly? Um, do you know how to pack wounds? Like if one of my kids got a really, you know, they, if they fell and hit a rock run and got a really bad wound or something like that, do you know how to pack wounds? Um, do you know how to, for the most part, ensure that your family is safe until a medical personnel can maybe get to the premises? And even then with living off grid, um, things like that, we're, we're not on any really crazy roads or anything like that. We don't live up a mountain, but if you are buying property and you're living up on a mountain top, <laughs> there may be a good likelihood that some emergency vehicles may not even be able to reach you. So you have to think about that too, in the sense of what can you do to ensure the safety and security of your family and the medical safety basically of your family. So I just really wanted to share that with you guys because quite frankly, that was honestly, like I said, that wasn't even anything I even thought about until moving off grid and living much further on the country and things like that um, where these services aren't necessarily readily available and to be completely honest if you cut the artery like in your leg the, i think it's femoral artery in your leg um, you got two minutes before you bleed out so guys even if you're living in a city and something like that happens i mean you could get in a car accident and something like that could happen and EMS may not even be able to get there in time for that. So it's one of those things that like having a tourniquet on hand, regardless of where you live, is probably a good idea. Even if you do live in the city, even if you're homesteading in the suburbs or anything like that, you never know what kind of, you know, car accidents are much more common than like wielding around a chainsaw and cutting yourself that way. But it's something to think about. Um, whether you're in the suburbs, whether you're completely off grid, whether you're up the top of a mountain, think about the types of 
medical things you may need. And definitely, like I said, check out Refuge Medical because they have a lot of great supplies um, and a lot of great packs that you can use to um, that have like a lot of that medical supplies in there as well. I'm um, gonna check out their training classes because there's obviously like, I didn't even know how to use a tourniquet until last night, which is really sad to say, <laughs> but I didn't know how to use a tourniquet until last night. Now I know how to use a tourniquet, not only on myself or my husband, but also my children um, and have those supplies now for all of us should something happen or I know how to pack a wound and things like that. So think about it guys, think about all the different things that you may need medically. Or if you have questions, um, you can definitely drop the questions in the comments and I'm happy to answer any of them that I know. And if I don't have the answers, I am obviously totally willing to uh, forward those questions on to people who do know the answers to them. Um, so something to think about guys, think about um, when you're preparing for living off grid or homesteading, not just the animal or the garden or the seeds kind of thing, but also think about the fact that you're going to be working with chainsaws, with shovels, with some kind of equipment, things like that, and think about what could happen when I get hurt, or can I get hurt by any of these things? And obviously the answer is yes to all of that. So just something to think about, guys. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, drop them in the comments below, and I will drop the link for Refuge Medical in the description below. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.